Goldie jerked awake. Who could sleep with all that yelling going on? Mr. Chan, Mrs. Chan, she cried. I didn't mean to fall asleep. In a fluster, she jumped out of bed and dashed home. Her mother had set out congee for her breakfast. Goldie was just about to take a bite when she thought of little Chan, who didn't have any more rice porridge in his bowl. I'm not really that hungry," she said to her mother. She went to read a book in her rocking chair. As she rocked back and forth, she thought of little Chan, who didn't have a chair to sit in anymore. "I'm still sleepy. I think I'll go to bed," she said. Goldie climbed into her nicely made bed. She thought of the pillows and blankets she had strewn about the Chan's bedroom. <laughs> Goldie jumped up and ran back to the kitchen. She grabbed her bowl of congee and rushed back to the Chan's apartment. I didn't mean to break little Chan's rocking chair," she said to Mr. Chan. "I'll help you glue it back together. I'll fix the blankets I messed up," she said to Mrs. Chan, "and make the beds." Goldie handed her bowl of congee to little Chan. "I'm sorry I ate all your rice porridge," she said. And dropped all those turnip cakes. That's okay, Goldie said. Little Chen shyly, we were just about to make some more. Would you like to help? So Goldie and little Chen chopped, stirred, and steamed lots and lots of turnip cakes. Then they fry them up. Nice and crunchy for the New Year feast. <laughs> Mrs. Chen handed Goldie a red envelope. Coon high fat cho, Goldie. She said, "May the New Year bring you great wealth and good luck." Thank you," Goldie said. "But I think I found some good luck already." She smiled at little Chan, and the two friends sat down together to eat a whole plate of turnip cakes. Okay, so you can see there's a big wheelie thing, and in Chinese, every year has an animal. Which year you were born is the year. Of who you actually related to, and I'm related to this ox. There's a rat. There's a pig. There's a dog. Rooster, monkey, sheep, horse, snake, dragon, rabbit, tiger, and ox again. Sometimes your parents might know, so maybe you should ask your parents if you're at, at China living and your parents are Chinese or you are Chinese too. My parents are Chinese. I'm Chinese too, so I know this and my parents know this because my parents told me, and you'll probably understand this. There's like a lot of animals for each ear. It's called Chinese zodiac. Yeah, the Chinese zodiac. There are twelve animals in the Chinese zodiac: the rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Each animal year comes around every twelve years. There are also five elements in the zodiac: wood, fire, earth. Metal and water, because the Chinese characters for metal and gold are the same. The Chinese call the metal dragon the golden dragon. 
The ear of the golden dragon is especially lucky because it comes around only once every sixty years. A lucky character. The Chinese "fuk" or "fu" in Mandarin means happiness or good luck. During Chinese New Year, it is often hung upside down on the front door because the word for upside down sounds the same as the word for arrive. When guests come to visit, they said, "Your fuk or fu is upside down." Which sounds exactly like your happiness has arrived. If you watch my video of the Summer Palace, which is the emperor used to live, if you remember the little things, the little red, little wooden things that you can buy one and sign your name on the back, you might have have remembered if this word is actually on one of them. Fu means good luck, and. The, the last one is here. This is the turnip cake recipe. I don't know what it tastes like, but maybe we had turnip cake when I was small. If you want to try to make some turnip cakes, if you want to tell your parents how to make these, we'll just hold it for a little while so you can read it. Okay, so if you're done right now, then you read very fast, but. Uh, if you're not done, we'll show this at the end of the video again. And if we're reading Rainbow right here, and it says read again, so we're not going to read again. If you want to read again, you do the check. If you don't want to and leave, you'll just press this. See? And now you'll have a backpack. This is Zen's backpack. Zen is my mom, and.、Um, And this is mine. I love Snow White. You know, I'm a girl. And this is Tim. My dad is Tim. And then, then again, we just have three people. And you can change your backpack like this. For my mom, which I picked this, and you can do whatever you like. So thank you for watching this. Now, if you want to keep reading, you can. We'll just、uh, do this. Big words. Mattress. Armchair. Kanji. Piggy bank. Snow White, Cinderella, Ariel, Belle, Jasmine, Rapunzel, Pocahontas, Merida, Sophia, Mulan, Anna and Elsa, and Moana. They're so beautiful, sweet, and brave. I can watch their movies and read their stories all day.